empower ourselves, to ask ourselves to work more than anybody will ever expect us to work. So it, it's really putting ourselves in a place of power and empowerment, and that's really what we need for ourselves is to be empowered. Sometimes our batteries run low, and we need a, a an electric jolt, a reminder. Mm-hmm. And, and this is through a series of um, conversations that we've had with people and that we can have with ourselves as well as pictures mm-hmm. that will really inspire you to move and motivate you to take action. Now, you, you're saying so much. Again, for those who are just joining us, we are here live in our studios with Darren Henson, and he is saying something so powerful, poignant. I, as I sit here, I, I see your career through my eyes, and I'm looking at you. You know how people are very judgmental on the outside? They don't know what a person endures inside, you know. So, And I know, especially in Hollywood, it's very difficult, Darren, you know. How do you maintain your truth in it? And this this book, what you have written, like you said, serve as reminders. And what I did, sometimes we have to be visual. I did a vision board, which someone was always referencing to me, but I never really didn't sink into me. And I eventually did put that vision board up. So when I wake up in the morning, I literally see it, what's going on. So what I know you had vision. So when those visions didn't come to life, or it seemed like it was at a standstill, how did you maintain your reminders that you're going to come through what it is that you was going through to be where you are today? Well, firstly, I believe difficulty um, is a perspective. Some people, you know, go through life and they say things come easily and often to me, and then they do. So it's a perspective. Whatever we believe to be real is real, Um, Mm. and that's a part of law of attraction. And I know a lot of people are starting to hear about the law of attraction, and and hopefully they'll discover it more. Um, Right. But, I think, I think that you, you are building and maintaining and following through on a very successful journey with your vision board. Even in mm-hmm. Scripture, um, one of the greatest books ever written, the, the Bible, it says like those vision. people without <laughs> vision, lack of vision, shall perish. So that yes. tells us we must have a vision. We must yes. create a vision board. We must be creative enough to imagine ourselves to have, do, and be whatever yes. it is that we want. And yes. holding yes. on to that vision is the key. Now, just because things don't materialize immediately, you want to be thankful that they don't. Because imagine the artist who just touched a piece of clay and then all of a sudden became a piece of art. Who would want mm-hmm. that? We love mm-hmm. the process. We love mm-hmm. becoming. So we mm-hmm. love the process, and we have to enjoy the process. So I say when you're doing, and it doesn't unfold immediately in front of you, that's when and always you should have faith. Having faith mm-hmm. is knowing that what is unseen will soon be seen. And that's Mm -hmm, I am full mm -hmm. of faith or I am faithful. So Mm -hmm. I'm very happy and I'm very thankful about my process. I tie myself to intention and I I just simply trust the process, have a state of gratitude that I live in. And when things get difficult, I just stop and I go, thank you for the difficulty because I know that there's growth happening right now. When things are easy, it means nothing's happening. When things are easy, it means you're not growing. Mm. Oh my goodness! You are saying something. I'm here, literally leaping up and down, seriously, because I've I've heard about laws of attraction. I even had guests on my shows about laws of attraction. But all of a sudden, Darren, it's sunk in. This season, why? You know how you can hear things and it just doesn't seep into you until you go through a situation. Well, this laws of attraction has really seeped into me, and it's like you said, you have to think it. And when you think it, you believe it. Positive that it's That's going right. to happen, even though it has not materialized. And, yes. and it's you almost like you it, was, it was happening before. You just weren't aware of it. So when you became yes. aware of it, it materialized. Too. There you go. There you go. That's exactly right. You're not aware of it, but it's happening. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead and ask. Let's see how we can get your book because people are like, Vanessa, how can I order his book? I'm just anxious to get it. So where can we go to get your book, Darren? The book can only be purchased on my website through direct sales, which is Darren Henson, D-A-R-R-I-N-H-E-N-S-O-N.com, DarrenHenson.com. That is the only place that you can actually get the book. And I did that because I wanted to be able to speak to my audience. I wanted to be Mm -hmm. able to write back to my audience, and I wanted my audience to know where they could find me. Every book is signed by me personally, and Mm -hmm. we usually ship on the following day that the book is ordered. 
and the book is usually received within a two-day period. I want to thank everybody in advance for purchasing the book, and I want to say to you that I want to thank you for giving me a voice on your show. I'm very thankful to you for this. Oh, it was my pleasure. I am very thankful for you for stopping by and talking to us about this Laws of Attraction, loving yourself, and reminding that you was not aware but the process is taking place now. It's have to seep into you. So you woke up something into me, and I really appreciate you. So you guys go over there and get that book. He has two out, book of poetry too also. So you want to get those books. It's going to be personally autographed. That's right. At DarrenHenson.com. Get those books. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. So thank you again. I appreciate you for joining us here on The Certain One. I, I appreciate being here, and I just want to say to all your fans that are listening, thank you so much for supporting me in my career. Thank you for uplifting me. Thank you for watching my movies. Black Coffee this year is doing so well, and next yeah. year I have quite a few. Yeah, next year I have quite a few films out. I have Chocolate City coming out with Tyson Beckford and Michael Jai Woo. White. Um, <laughs> I have I have Bad Apple coming out where I play a pastor. I have uh, Carl Weber, New York's bestseller. Carl Weber, mm-hmm. choir director, which I am the what? choir director in the movie. So I'm really wow. excited about that. 2015 is looking really, really good. And I just released my new web series, The Hotel, yeah. on YouTube. So if you just yeah. pull up Darren Henson and go to my page, Darren Henson, you'll be able to see my new web series, The Hotel, that I direct and I star in and I wrote. Wow. See, you guys, I told you, he's like the jack of is phenomenal. Now, don't forget us. 2015, we have to have you back on to promote all those productions if time permits it. I appreciate it, if you would. Thank you so much. I will come back anytime that you want me to come back. And, I'm again, I am thankful to you and all of your listeners. I, I appreciate you with so much gratitude. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, too. Thank you, and have a great one. God bless. Thank you. Well, you guys, that was Mr. Darren Henson. He has joined us live here. When I say he's busy, he's extremely busy, and he is just phenomenal. He took time out of his schedule to talk to you and I here on the Certain Ones Block Talk Radio Show. We are always in awe and appreciative of our guest who does these things for us and to us. And, and be reminded of all the tidbits of information that he's dropped. If you are in the North New York area, Go back and listen to this archive. Get the address and invite friends, okay? He is a phenomenon. He devotes his time, his effort to empower us. And remember, what's happening now, your it, your vision is coming to life. You may not be aware of it. it you may not feel like it's so, but it is. It's coming to pass. And I'm going to do a little something different. Um, at the end of this segment, I want to inspire you. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> After I talk to Nashe Jones, who is an author, also an artist, we're going to bring her on in a bit, but I want to talk to you at the end of the show. Just want to inspire someone because we're living in a world right now where so many things are going on. It's almost like it's a deterrent to deter us from our visions and our goals, and it's almost like we are exhaling, inhaling more than we're exhaling. I mean, you have to inspire yourself daily, and what inspire means is to literally just breathe. Breathe in life into yourself because you have a lot of dead weight that want to attach itself to you in a situation, in inner struggle. All these things are taking place. So I want to talk to you. Don't go nowhere, right, at the end of this segment. We're going to take a break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to talk to our next guest, Nashe Jones. And we'll be right back after this small and detailed. Do you feel like you waste time on social media? Are you overwhelmed with all the information about online marketing? Do you want to be able to effectively manage your online presence? Set up a one-on-one consultation with DIY with Ty.com. Taora Moody, known simply as Ty, has over 12 years of experience and a down-to-earth personality that has put over 100 clients at ease. At DIY with Ty.com, we aim to take the mystery out of the geeky stuff in a way that anyone can understand so you can learn how to do it yourself. Are you a single Christian woman who's wondering where Mr. Wright is? If so, I believe I can help you. Hi, my name is Afi Pittman, creator of Author of Faith Enterprises, 
the place of encouragement for today's single woman. I know firsthand how frustrating it is to just want to meet and marry Mr. Right already, and then to do everything you know how to do in dating and romance, and at the end of the day, still be single. But God used some very difficult situations in my life to teach me the art of contentment and how to prepare for marriage. If you're ready to live a full life, free from worry that you'll ever marry Mr. Right, and you want to marry God's way, I want you to join me at authorofmyfaith.com. Start by signing up for the Single and Preparing e-newsletter to get free articles, video devotionals, and company news. I also post new blog devotionals every week, along with articles on dating, healthy eating, and living. And you can also subscribe for those as well. So again, this is Afi Pittman with Author of Faith Enterprises, the place of encouragement for today's single woman at authorofmyfaith.com. I so look forward to hearing from you, and I would be honored to serve you on your journey to Mr. Right. Hi guys, welcome back to the Searching Ones Block Talk Show where I'm your host for the hour, Vanessa Richardson. I'm still basking in the inspirational message that we had with Mr. Darren Henson at the top of the hour. You guys, if you missed it, if you just tuned in, you might want to go back to the archives and listen to what he had spoken. Real talk, real talk. He talked about his book, Ain't That the Truth. I absolutely wrote down copious notes again because sometimes as it said we need reminders in spite of what it looks like and feel like in our in our test i know like i said it was already there you just was not aware of it so these outside interference can come into you into you and around you and surround you that you don't even, you're not even aware that the seed is budding and that your rose is getting ready to sprout so all these things take place around you to distract you like i said but stay focused remain focused it's a new day. It's a new hour. And let's feel good about it. I love our opening theme song. I absolutely adore that. Um, so now, moving forward, we're going on now with our next guest, who I'm glad to have her on. I had an opportunity to watch some of her um, YouTube interviews, and she's a phenomenal young woman doing great things. The Shay Jones, she reached out to me, and I'm glad she did. And she's also, like I mentioned, she is a guest author on the Certain Ones magazine, and that airs, and that is the publication is live every month. And when I say we have some wonderful topics that we cover, I mean we have some awesome topics and we have some phenomenal guests too as we had Mr. Darren Henson and I'm looking forward to it for the month of October. We have an awesome lineup. You might want to if you have not go ahead and follow us and you're going to be appraised as to who we have on our show because we're going to bring it. That's how we do here. So again, we're going to go ahead and bring the Shay on. She's an artist and she's an author. I can go ahead and give you um her accolade verbally, but I want her to say who she is. She is a first time guest here on the certain ones and she launched her I love her company, photography company called Rima Word. Not my head. Mm-hmm. A fresh word for those who don't know. We're gonna tell her to explain that company, Rima Word Photography L L C Photography with the Word of God. Now you know that's powerful. I love art and I like how she expressed her artistic skills and her her powerful anointing through this. So we're going to go ahead and bring her on. Nashay, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing well, Vanessa. How are you? I'm just blessed. Glad to have you on. Um, as I mentioned, I was talking about, I'm not going to go ahead and introduce you because I want you to tell us about the true you, but I want to go ahead and leap in also about your photography. I had a, a wonderful chance to see you being interviewed on television, and you were so graceful mm-hmm. and poised, and you did a lot for the body of Christ, and you're so young, too. So go ahead Thank and you. introduce yourself to our UFO. Introduce yourself to our listening audience. Okay. Well, my name is Nishay Jones. I'm a photographer, and I'm also a Christian artist. Um, God has given me a gift where I'll take my photograph and, you know, according to his leading, you know, I'll package it together with the scripture along with an interpretation. Um, just, you know, creating art that ministers to God and that's really ministers to the body of Christ as a whole. I I want to talk to you. I had a chance, as I mentioned, to see your video, um, video television interview, interview, and I want to talk about the seer. I thought that was so poignant okay. that you said that because a lot of people don't mm-hmm. understand that or know what the seer is. 
Um, so let's go ahead and talk about your your photography, Rima, like what that means, um, and how did that mm-hmm. vision come about for you? And was the struggle hard for you to bring it to life? Uh, well, Rima, that was really a name that God had 